Now I did have a different video planned to go up today. However, in light of Shout Out Sunday, I thought I would take the opportunity to highlight some wonderful Australian booktubers you need to have in your subscription feed. Hi, I'm Leah, and welcome to Hide and Seek. And regardless of where you sit on the YouTube demonetization debate, these people need to be in your subscription feed. Firstly, I'd like to recommend Amanda from Cook, Read, Create. A soothing, calming presence on Booktube. Her voice and calm manner on screen are just delightful. Amanda highlights a lot of Australian YA. However, she brings so much more to Booktube. Amanda created her own tag, the Reading My Country tag, which is becoming very popular. Amanda recommended the, my favourite Australian YA book of 2017, Becoming Kiralee Lewis. But Amanda just doesn't talk about books. She has vegan recipes and vegan food blog, blogs, as well as bookish nail art videos, which are fascinating, if completely beyond my skill set. Next, I would like to recommend Soon from Pages and Prose, a new booktuber who started around the same time I did. Soon also works in pharmacy, so that's a great connection I had with her, and she's very generous and always commenting on my videos and tagging me as well. So thank you, Soon. She is articulated, articulate and sophisticated, and she reads a lot of contemporary fiction classics, and her tags are thoughtful and brings books that I would never have considered into my consciousness. So please check out Soon. I'd also like to recommend Kate, from the novel Nomad. Now Kate also created her own tag, the history trail tag, and if you watch her video she's walking a history trail in her hometown of Adelaide or outside of Adelaide in South Australia. It is a wonderful video highlighting some fantastic historical fiction books. Kate brings a sophisticated vintage feel to booktube with her lovely bookshelves in the background and she's always elegantly made up and always has fantastic lipstick. So please go and check out Kate. Now the next person I would like to recommend is rather intimidating if she wasn't so wonderfully warm and engaging. Helena Liu is an academic at the University of Technology in Sydney and brings sophisticated, articulate, considered and academic discussion to Booktube. Now she doesn't make a lot of videos, obviously her work and travel keeps her otherwise occupied, but spending the time to watch the videos she does make is well worth the effort. If you want some academic and non-fiction books that extend you and encourage you to read more deeply. She also reads classics a lot and encourages you to participate in readathons such as Victober. So Helena is elegant and academic in equal parts and I strongly urge you to consider watching Helena Lou. Now Sarah the Book Geek is one I like to watch as well. Now Sarah is a student in literature or English, now I'm unsure exactly, sorry Sarah, but she's engaging and delightful reading an equal parts mix of contemporary fiction, some sci-fi and fantasy, as well as the classics to do with her course. And I just find her engaging and natural and warm in her videos and please go and check her out. Pip from Pip Reads is also very new and she is going to be hitting the stratosphere very soon. Her videos are so technologically advanced, especially compared to my no edit, no cut, no nothing. But she is wonderfully engaging, so real and personable and I can imagine the person you see in her booktube videos is the person you'd meet in the bookstore and I think that is what encourages connection and engagement. So please consider Pip from Pip Reads. Now I'm also going to highlight some of the bigger Australian booktubers who I'm sure you are already following. There is Sophie Carlung, that irreverent and quirky booktuber who has very forceful opinions on very diverse books and we all need that push at times. 
mixing in tattoos and snakes and you have somebody who is engaging and fascinating and definitely breaks that mold of that generic cookie cutter booktuber. So please obviously go and check out the delightfully irreverent Sophie Carlin. Ange from... Oh, Ange, why can't I think of that? Ange from Beyond the Pages. Oh goodness me. Ange reads so much classical fiction and she is so generous with her time and her comments and her read-alongs and her buddy reads. She is wonderful. I love just sitting down to watch her videos, especially the ones where her children sneak in and out of the screen. She is a voracious reader plowing through so many books with such a young family, I just think she is wonderfully warm and I would love to just sit down and have a cup of tea with her one day and chat books and being a mum. And Leslie, Lynn Leslie from The Wandering Reader is perhaps one of the biggest Australian booktubers, always with thoughtful discussions. Her most recent one is about classics that have changed you, ones you loved and are instilled as part of you and others that you just didn't get along with. So if you really want to have um, discussion videos and really insightful thoughts, definitely check out Lindsay. I always say Lindsay, Leslie from Words of a Reader. Now finally, I want to highlight three Australian booktubers who aren't making videos anymore and it breaks my heart because they were some of the first Australian booktubers I found. The first is Vivian from Lamp Sunnies. Now she was just a quirky Sydney side reader and she read classics and Australian and contemporary fiction and fantasy and all sorts of books and I just found her to be engaging and delightful and I think her university studies are taking up more of her time. But I really loved watching Vivian from Lamp Sunnies. And also Kirsty from Melbourne On My Mind. Now she's still active on Instagram but I do miss her videos especially her snark squad videos and for somebody who can devour books like Kirsty, I do miss her Monday reading summaries that she used to put up each and every Monday so I do wish Kirsty would come back in particular. Another booktuber who isn't making videos at the moment is Michael from Knowledge Lost. Now I do understand he's transitioning into another online platform or another way of articulating his love for books and I look forward to finding out more of that as well. Now there are some other Australian booktubers who I do like and watch and I would like to highlight in a future video but today these are just some of the ones I watch all the time, some old favourites and some ones I wish would just come back. Are there any Australian booktubers who you watch who I haven't listed here? Please write them down the suggestions down below so we can all continue to support this wonderful community and continue to highlight books, whether from Australia or anywhere in the world. Now I do plan on doing one of these next Sunday, highlighting my other favourite booktubers from all around the world. So please continue to support small channels and really enjoy your bookshop. Book reading, enjoy your booktube and just enjoy participating in the community. So thank you for watching and have a fabulous day.